Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Sally Hansen, Daisy Dukes, and Buttered Popcorn, and I'm going to use the Lena Feeling Shapely 07. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2, and here is Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Buttered Popcorn from the Jelly Belly Collection, and Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Daisy Dukes. I couldn't wait to play with these. Summer's here coming on us and uh, well actually it's spring but you know warmer weather makes me think of sunshine and daisies and you know sunshine sunshine so yellow was calling to me this time and I don't wear yellow very much so I was pretty excited to be able to you know make my mind up and, and actually do a yellow manicure so I am going in with, I'm going to do two coats of each of these polishes, and um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to do a little chatting. <laughs> um, I do want to give you a heads up on that pointer nail on this hand. It's got a um, patch on it because I'm, I'm having trouble with uh, some peeling and lifting and <clears throat> I don't I, I just don't know what's going on with it. So I have put a gel patch on it using some acrylic powder and so it's a little thick looking it looks a little funky um, but you know it's covered up and hopefully it'll grow out soon and you know I won't be any worse for the wear um, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes and I couldn't I couldn't take them back as short as that one was having the issue so I just took them all back a little bit more. They've been short for a while, but I went ahead and took them back a little bit more and did that patch. And um, it's just the like tip of one of them, like just one side, like one corner edge. And I know we've all been there. I mean, you know, you just have one that's acting up. So um, I just wanted to give you a heads up because that is not like a normal shape for my nail. And it's not a false nail on there. It's awful thick. When I take this manicure off, I'm going to do some filing and get it to, you know, look a little more normal. But it looked pretty good until I started putting polish on it, and then I realized how fat, chunky it was. So, but anyway, there you have that. <laughs> I am applying some posh top coat to this manicure because it was getting kind of late. So, all I was going to be able to do on this evening was to get them painted with the base colors. So, I'm painting them this way and then I'm going to wear it to work and then the next night I will do the stamping. And you guys don't have to wait for that because of the magic of video. So um, we're going to wrap this top coating up and then we're going to jump on into the stamping without skipping a beat. Hi Woody, how you doing? I know, he's been here. So here's the Lena Feeling Shapely 07. And I'll be using the Beauty stamp, Scraper and my Monocle Stamper, Nicole Diaries, NSO3, the gold, and NSO1, the white stamping polishes. And I decided since Daisy was in the name of one of these polishes, I'd go ahead and use some daisies. So I'm going to put these daisies in white over the two yellow nails where I've used the Daisy Dukes. And to be honest with you, I really like it like that, and I should have left it alone. But, you know, crazy girl doing some crazy stuff, and we're going to double stamp over it. It doesn't end up looking bad, in my opinion, but um, I really do wish I'd have just left it with the white stamping on these two nails. So there we go. And then now I'm going to double stamp over them with this gold. But, you know, I was thinking I needed to, you know, tie it into the buttered popcorn nails with that gold. No, should have left it. <laughs> but it's still pretty cute. And, you know, like I said, I was excited to be wearing some yellow nail polish. And so, you know, it's all good. I've worn it for, I think, three days now. I don't know. I have trouble keeping up with how, my, how, how long I wear my manicures. I do change them out quite often. So, sometimes it's hard to keep up. So there we go. Got a little bit of cleanup to do here with some tape. And um, I will go ahead and fess up that after this cleanup, I start doing my top coat routine. And um, I do show you guys me using the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. 
but um, my camera did not get me using the uh, vinyl top coat, which was Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls, um, or Hard and Fast. I, I'm starting to have trouble with it um, as far as remembering the name. I'm not having any issues out of the top coat. <laughs> I love it still. But um, I just wanted to give y'all a heads up. Y'all going to get to see me after this cleanup here. We're going to do the Born Pretty smudge free and then the other top coat. And then I will show you what it looks like to done. So there we go. Ta-da. And here they are totally done. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.